Yesterday, the New York Jets acquired Shaq Lawson, defensive end from the Houston Texans in return for a sixth round pick that the Jets received for Jordan Willis from the San Francisco 49ers at the start of the 2020 season. Shaq Lawson had a productive 2020 season, not in the sack column, but he was upwards of 15% pressure rate, which was in the top half of the league for defensive ends. He's gonna help fill the void left by Carl Lawson, who tore his Achilles in the Green Bay week of practice. Let's see what his 2020 film looked like for the Miami Dolphins. Welcome in everybody to the Play Like a Jet film room. I'm Luke Grant, and let's dive into this Shaq Lawson film. You're gonna see him primarily throughout the video lined up at the right defensive end spot. But I wanna give you some context. The Jets weren't looking to replace Carl Lawson. That just wasn't an option. We're gonna look at whether he's valuable and was a good value for a six round pick that the Jets gave up for him. Let's get into it. Lined up on the right hand side of your screen, defensive end position outside the left tackle. Shaq Lawson, you're not gonna see the most nuanced pass rush. What you're gonna see a ton of is bull rush power and great use of hands. He gets into the tackle's chest here, is able to disengage and then gives him the little rip and gets around the corner. He gets that outstretched right hand on the quarterback's shoulder, but he does a good job stepping up to his garden Minshew and he avoids the sack. But this is primarily what you'll see from him. Heavy hands, rip around the corner and try and get to the quarterback and finish. This was a really productive game against Jacksonville for Shaq Lawson. He had six pressures throughout the contest and this was another one of those. Does a really nice job again, getting to the chest, disengaging and going to that rip on the outside. And this time comes over the top and he's just a little late. But again, sacks aren't necessarily something that defensive ends can control. What he can control is getting after the tackle with great inside hands, making sure he controls that wrist and then getting to the outside shoulder. Bottom of your screen here on the left-hand side, a really nice spin move. So you're going to see if we take it back. Does a great job selling outside rush again. Spins back to the inside. Look, he doesn't get to the quarterback. Does a really nice job. Does Norwell, the left guard giving help and blocking, he can't get to guard a Minshew. But this is just a little bit more to his repertoire. You see a lot of the same thing from Shaq Lawson, trying to get uh, extension and leverage, getting to his outside to then come back through the chest. This time he hits him with a really nice spin, does a great job, it's clean, still gets upfield, puts the pressure on. But this is the impressive part of the play. He's on the ground, it's over, but he gets up, gets back to his feet, chases Minshew and forces an interception on fourth down. His third quarterback hit of the game, terrific play. Left-hand side of the screen, this is more just an example of his bull rush. Gets tight hands, goes through the chest. Again, it might not even be classified as a pressure or a hurry, depending who's, depending who's grading the game, but just an example of his power. And look, again, he's not going to be that polished. He's not going to be that nuanced. He's kind of a similar player to Jordan Jenkins, who the Jets let go, who's ironically starting for the Houston Texans. But he'll try his butt off, and he's really good in the run game, as you'll see later. He's going to give the Jets enough. He's going to be a starting caliber player without being a star. And that's what the Jets could have hoped for in trade before the season. Right-hand side of your screen against the Cincinnati Bengals this time. Shaq Lawson doesn't go through the chest. This time he goes for the straight rip with the left arm and bend around the corner. He forces Burrow to step up in the pocket and he gets sacked with the interior pressure by Kyle Van Noy. But just a nice job mixing it up, not going for straight ball this time. Shows a little bit of bend. He's not the great athlete, but he did have a 4 7 40 coming out of college. So a nice play there from Shaq Lawson. This time, I really like the footwork and the way he opens up the tackle's hips. So he's lined up as a four technique over the left tackle. Watch how he sells inside move here. His first step, he does a jab step with his left foot, gets to the inside, and look at the position of the tackle's feet. He now opens up the outside half of his body, gets underneath with that left arm with a rip, turns the corner, and flattens to the quarterback and gets the sack. Really nice pass rush plan understands that he's trying to open up the hips of the tackle, gets to the rip, and then gets to the quarterback. Really nice play. Now look, these are obviously highlights, and that needs to be reminded. These are the better plays he has. But I want to show you that he does have some, some high-level play, but he is an average NFL starter, but that's okay for the New York Jets. We're talking a little run game now, and this time he's, again, head over the tackle. And what he does really well here is two-gap. He stands up the, the uh, offensive tackle, looks at the inside, then gets to the outside, reads the running back, and uses the length of his arms to make this play. It's beautiful. This is really nice two-gapping, something you're not going to see a tunnel from the Jets. They're going to be more get up the field and penetrate, but there's a really nice job here, and he's a really solid run defender. Conversely, this time, 
uh, on the left hand side of your screen, I want to show you just how well he, he pursues. He gets on the backside of play. Watch him chase a homer down the line of scrimmage here. He doesn't make the first contact, but it's a nice job with Christian Wilkins and those guys cutting off the run play. He can be a backside pursuit. He can two gap. He can penetrate if you want. He's a really good run defender. And that's what the Jets need because they looked pretty leaky in their preseason games. This time, another counter. He's at the bottom of the screen uh, on the left-hand side opposite uh, the left tackle, as you're going to see throughout the video. And this is just a really nice job of selling outside rush, opening up the hip, and then coming back over with a little swim move. You don't see too many counters from Shaq Lawson. He's very much a, a one-move, power, hands-type guy. But it's nice to see a little bit of intricacy with his hands coming back over with the swim move. I like how he opens up with that uh, inside step, gets some width on his rush, and then swims back over with that right arm. That's really nice. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of who Shaq Lawson is as a player. He's not Carl Lawson. He doesn't have that explosive type of game, but he's a starter level player, probably around NFL average, and that's what the Jets needed after not only Lawson went down, but Vinnie Curry too. They couldn't go into the season with Rashid and Huff and that's it. They didn't want to play John Franklin Myers outside a ton. This was a needed move. Joe Douglas did a nice job. A sixth round value was more than fair compensation. And I think Shaq Lawson's going to have a nice season for the Jets. Five to six sacks, probably around that 40 pressure mark, and that would be a great result for Gangrene.